टूडे विल चेक वीडियो बाय सारी टाइटल टॉप सॉक्स एफ आई डी एज आर बाइंग पब्लिक इज सेल Hey everyone now that we are in Q3 of FI24 the latest shareholding pattern for Q2 has been published for majority of companies now i always say that shareholding pattern speaks a lot about the fundamentals and attractiveness of the company if promoters or FIs or DIs are increasing their stake it suggests a brighter future for the company as a retail investor it gives a good idea in terms of which sectors and stocks institutional investors are bullish on So in this video, I have identified stocks where strong hands of promoters or FIs or DIs have added stake, and weak hands of public have reduced stake. And there are more than 40 such stocks in this list. Please note that this analysis is only the first step in terms of identifying potential companies. You need to deep dive in terms of understanding the business model, key moat, future growth prospect, financials, valuation, risk, and so on. so don't just invest in any stock just because institutional investors are buying them this video is only for education purpose second please note that i have not considered stocks where fis and dis increase stake but it's because promoters have reduced stake and that has resulted in increase in public holding basically the idea is to identify stocks where net net the weak hands of public have reduced their stake also some companies have not yet published the september 23 holding so this is not an exhaustive list Finally, at the end of this video, I have shared some of the important observation in terms of which specific themes and sectors institutional investors are bullish on. All right, let's not waste any time and get started with the video. All right, so first stock where promoters have increased their stake is Union Bank of India. If you look at DIS holding, it has increased from 7.8 percent to 12.69 percent, so that's a significant increase. And even FIs have increased their stake from 1.46 to 2.89. Although the reason is because promoters have sold their stake, which is the Indian government since it's a PSU, but the interesting aspect is it's completely absorbed by the FIs and DIs. That's the institutional investor and public holding has slightly increased. It's uh, hardly a uh, 0.3 percent of increment, but net net public holding is very low, and it's a positive sign that institutional investors are buying Union Bank. Now, if you look at the share price of Union Bank. it has rallied a lot in last one year from levels of around 30 40 to currently around near 100 rupees but if you look at the valuation it is still trading at a price to book of 0.89 so less than one price to book market cap is around 75000 crore and price to earning is 7.4 so valuation wise it is still looking reasonable now next stock in the list is shriram finance so fi's holding in the company has increased from your 49% in fact 45% to now at 54% so there's a significant increase by fis and dis have increased their stake consistently in last four quarter from 11 to 14 and now 15% so both institutional investors fis and dis are consistently increasing stake in this uh, nbfc and public holding is just at 4.7% that has reduced from heights of 18% so clearly uh, it's looking very promising again the share has uh, rallied a lot from levels of around 1200 to currently at around 1850 but the interesting part is the valuations are still looking decent at just 1.58 and p is 11 okay next stock that institutional investors are adding is rbl bank fis has increased their stake from 24% to 28 now 30% in last two quarter and dis holding has increased from 17.9 to 19% public holding has reduced significantly from 59% in june 22 to 56 then 55 it increased and then again it has reduced from 53 and now at 50.45% and recently even mahindra and mahindra has made an entry in the uh, rbl along with the uh, broking firm uh, zerotha next so if you look at the share price again uh, rbl has also rallied a lot in last one year but if you look at the valuation its price to book is still 1.08 and p is 15.4 so valuation wise and again sir market cap of just 15000 crore so valuation wise still looking decent next is your jammu and kashmir bank it's a regional psu bank and if you look at uh, the fi and di holding both have increased their stake uh, in this bank fi increased it from 0.8 to 2.6 consistently di has increased it from 2.4 to 4.9% and public holding has reduced from uh, 31.9 to 29% again jammu and kashmir bank has also rallied a uh, quite a lot but uh, if you look at the valuation It's trading at a price to book of 1.1 and a PE of 8.48. Next, we have got IDFC First Bank. This, if you are following this channel, I've discussed it multiple times. So, if you look at uh, FIs, it seems FIs are buying it big time. Look at this. 
from levels of 10.9% in June 22, FIs are now at 26%, consistent buying and a significant amount of buying. Diaz uh, did sell it from 10 to 5.5, obviously because FIs are buying it, but this time, both FIs and Diaz have added stake. And public holding has reduced from highs of 38% to then 29, 27 and now at 25.6%. So it seems uh, institutional investors are also bullish on IDFC first. In terms of share price, it has rallied a lot. We have discussed it multiple times. But if you look at the valuation, its price to book is 2.3, P is 23.4 and considering the brighter growth prospect for the bank in the coming quarters and few years, obviously uh, it looks uh, decent at levels of 90 rupee. Okay, next we have got Credit Access Grameen which is basically a microfinance uh, NBFC and if you look at DI holding, it has increased from 11.9% to 15.7% and FI holding has increased from 9.5% to 11.46%. Public holding has reduced from 117 to 6%. Again, the share has uh, rallied quite a lot in last one year since uh, the entire banking and financial sector has rallied. But the interesting aspect is that since we are in a up cycle, <laughs> your microfinance segment is looking very promising, although it's a bit risky uh, side where uh, your growth comes at a very fast rate, but then there's risk of default. So market cap is 22,000, but price to hope is looking uh, slightly higher at 4.2%. So uh, it seems the institutional investors are still finding value in this uh, NBFC. Next, we have got another microfinance, which is Pandana Spurti, where FIs have increased. Actually, they've reduced it, but look at the way DIs have added it from 84 to 13%. Public holding has slightly reduced. And uh, so yeah, this is uh, about Spandana. Share price uh, has rallied uh, from levels of around 600 to currently 800. Of course, it dipped and then from uh, uh, March, uh, April levels, it has uh, significantly jumped. Now, if you look at the price to book of this particular uh, NBFC, it is at 1.8 and P 16.5. Next, we have got Canfin Homes. It's again a home finance company where uh, DIs have increased their stake from levels of 23 to 24, 27 and now it is 27.4 and uh, your FIs have made an entry at from 0 to 9 and now it is at 11%. Public holding has reduced from 45% to now at 31%. And if you look at the share price, it did jump a lot, uh, do, especially during the recent rally and then there is a correction and it's been sort of sideways movement. And uh, if you look at the valuation, it is trading at a price to book of 2.5 and a PE of 15.5. It's a small cap uh, NBFC with a market cap of 10,000 crore rupees. Next in the list is Prudent, which is basically a wealth management firm and uh, sort of uh, your mutual fund distribution. Uh, if you look at the FI holding, it, in fact, 0 0.6 to 1 <laughs> and now 3.8 and DI holding has increased from 9% to 15.6%. Promoter holding has been uh, sort of constant and public holding has reduced significantly from 30.9 to 22%. In terms of share price movement, Prudent has uh, jumped from levels of around uh, 700 to currently at around uh, 1350. And if you look at the PE ratio, it is trading at 44.5. So, uh, and but it's just a micro cap company. But yeah, in terms of uh, market cap, it's a small cap company at uh, 5,500 crore. Next talk in the list is LNT Technology, basically a play on electric vehicle and software space, where DIs have increased their stake significantly from 4% to 8 and uh, then increased to 10 and now it is at 10.7%. So consistent buying in last 3-4 quarters. FI stake in the company has uh, not moved a lot. But net-net, there's a good buying from DIs. Public holding, if you look at it, has reduced from 15% to currently at 9.5%. So consistent selling from weak hands of public. If you look at the share price movement, l &T Technology also rallied a lot, especially from March-April levels of 3,200 to nearly 4,800. But there's a sharp correction of around 10-15% recently after the result. And currently it is trading at a PE of 36.1, market cap of 45,800 crore around. Okay, next talk is another uh, small cap IT company, Sonata Software, where DIs have increased their stake consistently from 13.7 to 14 and now it's 16.3%. FI holding has also increased consistently from 12 to 13, now 14.98. So both FIs and DIs are consistently adding Sonata. Public holding has reduced from highs of 44% to currently at 39.4%. So weak hands of public are selling and strong hands of institutional investors are buying Sonata Software. If you look at the share price, it's been a one-way rally from levels of around 400-500 to levels of around 1100. So stock has more than doubled in last one year. 
And if you look at the market cap, currently at 15,000 crore, PE mm -hmm. of 33. And next stock in the list is uh, one of our most uh, discussed stock, uh, also part of my portfolio, which is Nugent Software, where this both uh, your FIs and DIs have increased their stake. Look at it. The FIs have actually added it in the last four quarter consistently. Recently, they've increased from 15.3 to 15.9. And DIs have also added it consistently from 6 to 8 and now at 9.23%. Public holding has reduced from your 23% to currently at 19.3%. If you look at the share price movement, there has been a significant rally in Nugen from levels of around 350 to currently at around 1100. So there's a great uh, up move in Nugen. And if you look at the share price in terms of valuation, it is at P of 42. So now there's a sharp rally, but the future prospects are very bright. Market cap is at levels of around 8,000 crore. Next stock in the list is more of an engineering and IT company where uh, both FIs and DIs are adding stake consistently. Look at this, FIs are increasing stake from 31 to 32, 36. There's a slight reduction recently, but DI holding, look at it, from 23% to 24. Now they've reduced it to 21, but in recent quarter, they've again increased it. And public holding, if you look at it, has reduced from 20% to 19, 18, 17 and currently slight increase at 18%. If you look at the share price movement, signed uh, share has also rallied quite a lot in last one year. And if you look at the PE ratio, it is trading at a PE of 32 at a market cap of around 20,000 crore. Okay, next set of stocks are from electronic sector where first is your Dixon Technology. If you look at FIS holding, it has increased from 12% to 15% in last two quarter consistent buying. And DI holding has increased from your 8% to 18, 23, 24 and now 27. So DIs are buying it big time and public holding has reduced from highs of 42% to now at 23%. So weak hands of public have sold Dixon in last six, four or five quarters and strong hands of FIs and DIs have bought it big time. And if you look at the share price, Dixon crashed badly during uh, after your Q2 and Q3 results. But that was actually a buying opportunity from there. It has already rallied to levels of 5,500 plus. And if you look at the PE ratio, it's trading at a very expensive PE of 118, market cap of 30, 32,000 crore. But like I said, electronics is a sunrise sector. At the end of the day, you need to take a call whether you are comfortable with this kind of valuation or not. Maybe a better strategy would be to buy these kind of stock in a systematic manner on correction. Next, if you look at uh, another stock, it's your Keynes Technology, another uh, EMS company. FIs have increased their stake from 7.9 to 9.9 percent. DIs have added it from uh, 11 to 12, 13, and now 15.5. So FIs and DIs both are buying it. Public holding has reduced from uh, 16 to 15, and now at 10.9 percent. And uh, if you look at the share price, there is already a sharp rally in Keynes from levels around 800 to currently 2400. So nearly. Uh, two times growth in last one year and valuation is uh, crazy high at P of 143. Market cap is around 15,000 crores. Next, we have got Sirma SGS, where both the uh, FIs and DIs have increased their stake from 4% uh, to your 9.27% and DIs have added it from uh, 7 to 8 and now 9.24. So consistent buying in next last two, three quarters from institutional investor and public holding has reduced from 41 to 34%, so significant fall in weekends of uh, public in Sirma SGS. And promoter holding has been constant. Again, share price has rallied a lot from levels of around uh, uh, 300 to currently at around uh, 650. And if you look at uh, the PE ratio, it is trading at a PE of 87, command a market cap of around 11,500 crore. Next, we have got PG Electroplast. Again, an electronics company. So institutional investors are buying these electronics company big time. And if you look at uh, FIs and DIs, but FI holding has increased from 1.9 to 8%, so significant increase in holding. DI holding has increased from 1% to 6, 7 and now 13.4%. Although your promoter holding has reduced from 65 to 53%, but the weak hands of public have sold from 33% to 24%. So again, share price has rallied from levels of around 1100 to currently at around 2000 rupee. And if you look at the P ratio, it's at 55p, market cap of 5,000 crore. So as compared to the other EMS companies, valuations is, are reasonably better. Then if you look at next stock, it's Amber Enterprise. Again, EMS company, FI holding has increased from 23 to 24 and now 29%. DI holding has increased from 11%. In fact, 8% to 13, then reduced to 11. But look at it. From there, it is at 13%. So net-net DIs have increased their stake uh, in the company and public holding has reduced from 
24% to currently at 16.9% and promoter holding has been constant in the company. So if you look at the share price, again, there was a correction during the early phase of uh, this year. And from May level, it has rallied a lot, currently trading at levels of around 3000. In terms of valuation, trading at a PE of 61.8, market cap of around 10,000 crore. Next, we have got EMI India, which is basically an electronics retailer, where DI has increased their stake from 10.9 to 15%. In fact, they've consistently added it in last 3-4 quarters, FI holding has increased from 2 to 3 and now 4.5%. Promoter holding has slightly reduced but net-net, public holding has reduced from 12% to 7.3%. Again, share has jumped a lot from levels of around 60-65 to currently at around 160 and uh, stock P is at around 44.4. So like all your uh, electronics company, Electronic Mart has also rallied quite a lot in this recent rally and trading at a market cap of 6,300 crore. Next is uh, textile company, KPR Mill. We covered this company during the analysis of the entire textile space. And if you look at uh, DI and FI holding, FI holding has increased from 3 to 4%. DI holding has increased consistently from 11 to 13, 14 and now 15%. So consistent buying in last 3-4 quarters. Public holding has been way on the very low side and reduced from 8.9% to currently at 7%. If you look at the share price, the KPR mill has been uh, consistently growing from levels of around 550 to currently around uh, 850 and valuation wise it is trading at a PE of 35.6. Next we have got Google Das Export, we have discussed it in the past uh, and uh, already jumped more than 100% uh, since we discussed it. DI holding has increased in the company from 3.6% to 30 so big time buying in fact if you look at recently from 24% it has increased significantly and even FI stake reached take from 11 to 16 percent we have discussed in the video why promoter holding is reduced it's mainly because the promoters are p firm that have made good money so they have reduced their holding but net net public holding in the company is reduced from 52 percent to 40 and now 39 percent if you look at the share price movement google das has rallied quite a lot from levels of 350 to currently near thousand rupee and if you look at uh, the p ratio now it is at 36 p and market cap of 5800 crore Next stock in the list is your Arvind Fashion, a retail company. DI stake in the company has increased from 8% to 11 now 13%. And FI stake has increased from 9% to 10%. Public holding in the company is reduced from 40% to 35%. And promoter holding has been constant. If you look at the share price, Arvind has also rallied a lot in last 2-3 uh, quarters. And uh, currently trading still at a PE of 15.5, market cap of around 5000 crore. Next, we have got a couple of uh, QSR stock. First is Devyani International, where DIs are buying it uh, consistently from levels of 4 to 5, then 6, 7, 9. Although they have reduced it slightly, but it's because your FIs are buying it from your 8% to 9, in fact, from 6% to 8, 9, 12, and now 13%. So, consistent buying from institutional investors and consistent selling from weak hands of public from 24% to now 15.6%. If you look at the share price, Devyani also rallied a lot during the bull rally but there is a significant correction around 10% from the peak and currently trading at levels of around 198. P ratio is on higher side at 100 of course because it's in growth phase so you can't just look at it uh, like that. Market cap is at around 24,000 crore. Next is Sapphire Food. We have by the way discussed the entire QSR space in uh, a dedicated video. If you look at uh, promoter holding, it has reduced in last 2-3 quarters. But if you look at the FI holding, it has increased from 12.6 to 18 percent and DI holding has increased from 16 to 29 percent. Your weak hands of public have sold this company from highs of 24 to 23 and now it's 6.8 percent. If you look at the share price, there's not much movement net net in one year. It's pretty flat. Of course, it uh, jumped but then there's a correction and net net there's not much growth. If you look at the uh, valuation, it is trading at a P of 40.9. So, looking quite attractive in this uh, QSR space as compared to the uh, other QSR company in terms of valuation. Market cap is at near 9000 crore. Next, we have got a few uh, capital goods company. First is Prince Pipe, where DIs are buying it big time. Look at this, from 11% to 13, 14, 15 and 16 and now 18. So, consistent buying in last 7-8 quarters. FI stake has increased from... Uh, has actually reduced from 6 to 5 percent but net net public holding has reduced from levels of 21 percent to 19, 18, 17 
and now at 15.4 percent promoter holding has slightly reduced but net net it's the strong hands of dis that has bought pins by big time and weak hands of public have sold it if you look at the share price movement after a sharp correction last year prince pipe has uh, moved but then again it has not rallied quite a lot and uh, of course p is looking high at 61.6 but it's mainly because these uh, piping companies margins got badly impacted because of increase in crude oil price and expecting margins to improve going further so p should come down market cap is currently at levels of 7700 crore by the way we have already discussed prince pipe multiple times in past Raj, we have also discussed where uh, promoter have uh, holding has been constant, but FI holding has increased from 18 to actually it has reduced uh, this quarter. But DI has looked at it from increased to 8.4 to 10, and public holding has net net reduced from uh, 41 to uh, 40 and now 39 percent. So if you look at the share price again, Prince uh, Praj has also rallied in last uh, three four months, but uh, if you look at the valuation. It is uh, trading at a P of 41, market cap of 10,500 crore. So this video is just to give you an idea in terms of which stocks institutional investors are buying. Again, we can't discuss it in depth regarding the valuation and everything that requires a separate video. Next is APL Apollo steel pipes, where DI holding has increased from 10 to 11, 12. And uh, your FI holding has increased from 24 to 25, now 28%. Weekends of public have sold it from 34 to 28.9%. Share price also has rallied uh, from levels of around uh, 1100 to currently around 1700. And valuations are on higher side at a PE of 65.8. Market cap is at around 47,000 crore. Next, we have got auto company Tata Motors leading the electric vehicle uh, space in four wheeler industry in India. If you look at DI holding, it is consistently increased from uh, your levels of 11 to 13, 15. Although slightly reduced, but again increased to 17.3%. FI holding has also increased from 13% to 15 and now 17. So consistent buying from both FIs and DI. Your public holding has reduced from 25% to 18%. Next, if you look at the movement, its uh, share price has increased from levels of around 400 to currently around uh, 650. And uh, P ratio, if you look at it, P is still 22. Market cap is 2.4 lakh crore. Next, we have got an, a small auto auxiliary company, Precall. We have recently made a video on this. DI holding has uh, uh, increased slightly from 5.5 to 5. Point, now, there's not much movement, but look at this. FI holding has increased from 2.8 to uh, 3.96. So, and net net, if you look at public holding, it has reduced from 53 to 51.9%. To we have discussed this increase. It's mainly because of uh, institutional buying from Mindacorp. If you look at the share price, pre-call share has jumped from levels of around 200 to currently at around 340, 350 and uh, P is around 33, market cap is just around 4000 crore. Next we have got Tata Power where uh, DI holding has increased from 14 to 15% and FI holding has increased from 9.7 to 10 and public holding has reduced from 28 to 27%. Share price uh, has jumped from uh, Levels of around 220, it fell down and again it's jumped to currently at around 250 rupee. In terms of PE, it is looking decent at PE of 24. Market cap is around 80,000 crore. Next, we have got TD Power System, where uh, your DI holding has increased from 16 to 33 percent, FI holding has increased from 2 to 10 percent. Although it's because promoter holding has reduced from 58 to 34, but net net public holding has not increased. So basically. The entire stake sale from promoter is absorbed by FIs and DIs and public holding has not increased. In fact, it has reduced consistently. So that's a very positive sign. If you look at the share price, again, it has grown from levels of around 120, 150 to around 250 rupee and trading at a P of 39 with a market cap of around 4000 crore. Next, we have got SJS where uh, your DI holding has increased from 12.6 to 30 percent. FI holding has increased from 5 to 14 percent. Because promoter holding has reduced significantly, uh, but the thing is public holding has just increased by 3%. So entire stake sale from promoter is absorbed by FIs and DIs. Slightly increased in public holding, but net net, it's the institutional investors that have made this uh, buying. Share price has rallied from levels of around 400 to 700. And uh, in terms of P, it is at around 35, market cap of around 2000 crore. Uh, then we have got Loris Lab where uh, both FIs and DIs have made and uh, have increased their stake from 22 to 24 and DIs are consistently buying it from 4 to 7, 9, 10 and now 11%. Public holding is consistently reducing from 
48% to 47, 41, 40 and now 37%. So last 8, 10 quarter institutionals are buying it and public is selling it. Then if you look at the share price, there is a significant correction in Loris Lab. But again from these levels it has rallied slightly. Net net uh, there is not much movement but trading at a PE of around 37.9 at levels of around 400. Uh, if you look at next stock, it's Jubilant in Grevia, where DI holding has increased from 2%, in fact 0.7 to 2, 4, 5, 6, now 9%. And FI holding has increased from 6 to uh, 6.1 to 6.3. Public holding has reduced from 37% to currently at 32%. Promoter holding has been constant. So weak hands of public is selling and strong hands of DIs are buying Jubilant in Grevia. If you look at the share price movement, actually not much movement, your entire pharma space has not grown. So it's been trading and you know in a consolidated manner and if you look at the share price, it's trading at an attractive PE of 25.6 and market cap is around 7,300 crore. Okay, we have got some more stocks on the list. First stock is HFCL, FI holding has increased from 6 to 7 and now 8%, DI holding has increased from 2.7 to 2.9 and 4.6%, public holding has reduced from 51% to currently 49%. Then uh, share price has been uh, flattish. And uh, if you look at the PE ratio, it is trading at a PE of 32.8. Next, we have got uh, Theta Gar Rail, where DI holding has increased from 6% to 9 and now 10%. FI holding has increased from 6 to 7 and now 16.8%. Public holding has reduced from 40% to currently at 27. So strong selling from public and strong buying from institutional investor in Theta Gar. Share price has rallied a uh, big time. And uh, if you look at the PE ratio, it is at expensive PE of 47.8, market cap is 10,000 crore, but it seems there is a bright growth prospect for Titagat because of the railway uh, modernization in India. Then we have got Bikaji, where uh, DI holding has increased from 9 to 10, 12, now 13, and FI holding has increased from 3 to 5, now 7. Public holding is reduced from 10% to now at 4%. If you look at the share price, uh, not much movement although uh, it was at around 350 currently trading at around 500 and uh, market cap is around 12,000 crore PE is around 79. Then we have got NRB bearings where DI holding has increased significantly from 11 to 19 percent. FI holding has increased from has actually reduced but net net it's the public holding that has reduced from 17 percent to now 15.5 percent. If you look at the share price it was trading at around uh, 140-150 during uh, April period and now it is at around 280 and uh, if you look at the PE it is at PE of 27 market cap is just around 2600 crore. Next we have got Vishnu chemical where DI holding has increased from 0 to 6.8 and FI holding has increased again uh, public holding has reduced from 24 to 23 percent. Then we have uh, again share price has been trading flattish and uh, if you look at the PE it is just 15.6 PE and a market cap of 2000 crore. Next we have got Nippon India Mutual Fund where DI holding has increased from 9% to 10 and now 14%. FI holding is up from 4.8 to 5%. Public holding has reduced from 11.9 uh, to 6.9%. Share has also rallied a lot in last uh, few months but trading at an attractive PE of 27. Market cap is around 23,000 crore. Next is Nika where DIs are consistently buying it from 2.9 to 3, 6, 7, 11 and now 14%. Public holding has reduced from 38% to 23%. In terms of share price, Nika has been correcting and consolidating for a long time and uh, currently trading at a market cap of 41,000 crore. Of course, we can't just look at the PE ratio here. Next, we have got Gateway District Park where we have already discussed uh, the logistic uh, space re recently. DI holding has increased from 37 to 38, 39, 40, now 41%. FI holding has in, uh, slightly reduced. Net net public holding has reduced from 14 to 13, uh, now 13.04 percent. Share price has rallied in last few months, but uh, trading at uh, attractive PE of 18.6 with a market cap of around 4,500 crore. Next stock is Sula Vineyard, where uh, DI holding has increased from 10 to 17 percent. Public holding has reduced from 55 to 35 percent. FIs has uh, increased from 6 to 20 percent. So significant buying in Sula Vineyards from both FIs and DIs. Public holding has reduced significantly. Share has jumped from levels of around uh, 300 to 500 and trading at a PE of 44. Next, we have got final stock which is Paradeep Phosphate where uh, DI holding has increased from 
20 to 21 and now 23 percent FIS holding has increased from 5.2 to 5.5 and public holding has reduced from 18 to 17 16 and now 14.78 percent in terms of share price movement it is trading uh, although there is a, a jump in last few months but net net it has not grown it was at around uh, levels of 60 65 a year ago and similar levels uh, currently trading at a PE of 44.8 with a market cap of around 5500 crore so if we quickly conclude it include banks and financial stocks like Union Bank, IDFC First, Sriram, Credit Access, RBL, Spandana Spooti, JNK, Canfin, Prudent then we have got few IT stocks like LNT Tech, Sonata, Nugent, Sign then we have got some uh, electronic stocks like Dixon, Keynes, Cinema SGS, PG Electroplast, Amber, EMI then few textile stocks KPR, Google Das, Arvind and then we have got couple of uh, QSR stocks Devyani Sapphire then we have got Capital Good Company, Prince Pipe, Praj, APL Apollo then Tata Motor Precall from Auto Space, Tata Power, TD Power and uh, from your Power Space then SJS, Loras Lab, Jubilant and Grevia, HFCL, Titagar, Bikaji, NRB Bearing, Vishnu Chemical, Nika, Praj, Sula Vanyard, Paradeep, Nippon, Gateway District Park. So I hope uh, this would help you uh, identify stocks where institutional investors are buying and weekends of public are selling. So clearly there are few themes and sectors where institutional investors are finding value. And the first such uh, sector is financial sector. That is not a secret that uh, we are in a new credit up cycle with best ever asset quality and that would result in great performance for banking and financial sector. We have already discussed it multiple times in the past. Although majority of stocks have already rallied in last one year, but it seems there's still a lot of uh, growth potential. Then second sector where there is high buying is EMS sector. Again, I've covered the exponential growth potential in the electronics industry and the top stocks in the sector. Although they have also rallied a lot and trading at expensive valuation. Maybe a better strategy in this sector is to nimble good stocks in a systematic manner. Apart from this, there is some buying in your mid cap and small cap IT sector, then textile, then few power stocks, then few capital goods stocks and so on. Clearly institutional investors are not yet increasing their stake in chemical sector, then pharma is also not a preferred choice except for a couple of stocks. But net net this is a quite exhaustive list and this buying from institutional investors instill good confidence among retail investors. Now tell me in the comments, which stock from the list 